new gear alert. This is the Telefunken TF47. A while back, I tried out the um, WA47 and I thought that mic was dope, but there was a problem with the, the box. It was like buzzing or something like that. So had to send that thing back. But um, I wanted something with that same tone. So the TF47 is supposed to have some of the same characteristics of the U47. Love the case that it comes in. It's pretty dope, you see it. This is how it comes. It's really nice. I love the presentation. You know, it's really dope the way they put everything that you need. You got two different um, shock mount types. This is the mic itself. Yeah, I like this dark, I think it's dark gray or dark blue. I'm not sure, but it's dope. This is a dope looking mic. Um, I love the TF51, it's one of my favorite mics. That and of course the Lawton Audio Atlantis. So far those are my two favorite mics for my particular voice. But we're gonna see what this one do. And this will be good for um, singers um, and you know, when I wanna do some rap. Um, it gives me a, a, a darker sound, hopefully. That's what I want, you know, a thicker, darker, darker sound. Just like I like my women. I love that there are two mic, but the, the power source is pretty small, pretty, pretty, pretty small. And um, made of steel, it's like real, real solid. Uh, I, I probably shouldn't be knocking on it like that. Uh, but yeah, it also comes with the cord over here, you know. So you have, this goes to the microphone, from the microphone to the, to the, uh, the power source thingy. And this is the course, th this is uh, the power cord. So what's cool, what's cool about this is like, you know, it has a space for this, but also another XLR. So you can bring your own XLR and everything you need right in this little pack. And it's, and it's kind of small, it's not like too big. So it's a tube microphone that you can actually travel with, which is pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Not saying you can't travel with the other two mics, but the, usually the box is all big and you know, bulky. So we gonna hook this microphone up and see how it sounds. Let's go. Hey, what up, it's Jack Spade back with another one. And in this one, we talking about this microphone right here. So I've been using this microphone for a couple of weeks and man, it's a really dope mic. Now, it has some of the similarities, tones, qualities of a U47, but it's not a U47, so it's a different sound. But it's in that same range or whatever. So this is how it sounds. It's a little dark on the top end, and I don't mean like overly dark, but if you look at the chart, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right? so. That makes this microphone really good for ballads, really good for R&B, really good for rap, you know what I'm saying, hip hop and for pop. But this is a really, really good sounding mic. I like the way it sounds. How does it sound to you? Um, right now, my vocal chain, I'm running this through the Heritage Audio Brit Strip, which is a 1073 style channel strip, um, complete with a compressor and EQ. I am bypassing um, the EQ right now. I'm going straight into the compressor. So that's what you're hearing. And the P's, you know, I wanted to do this without the um, the uh, the pop filter so you can hear how the pl plosive sounds. And, you know, and it's really, really sensitive. You know what I'm saying? But mic check one, two, one, two. It does sound great. Now, this is how it sounds with a pop filter. So pop, 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 pop. So if I wanted this mic to be a little bit brighter, you could actually do that. I was playing around with this EQ on the um, the Brit strip. Mic check one, two, one, two, one, two. Mic check one, two, one, two. So you can make it a little brighter. Mic check one, two, one, two. Mic check one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted you to hear it without the EQ so you can hear exactly how it sounds. So this is without the EQ right now. Um, also, let me go ahead and turn off the compressor. So this is how it sounds with just the preamp. Mic check one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you know, it sounds really good to me. So yeah, man, I, I really like this microphone. Um, the, the Telefunken Alchemy line of microphones really sounds great. So what I'm gonna do right now is switch up the preamp. 
So we're going to go into the 5211. This is the 5211 going into the Warm Audio WA2A. You know, I got the silk turned to 50%. This is right here is a more cleaner sound without the silk. Um, the silk is really emphasized with this mic. You can really hear that saturation right there. You know, you can hear it like, yo, yo, yo. And this is without it. Yo, yo, yo. So this is um, a more detailed preamp. Um, and I don't have any EQ on this. Um, might check one, two, one, two. But I can do a, a high pass filter with this one. Might check one, two, one, two, one, two. Might check one, two, one, two. How does that sound to you? Might check one, two, one, two. Yo, I come up out this thing. I let you know what's up. I'm never stopping. I'm coming up. It's bottoms up. I'm drinking hard liquor straight from my cup. Yo, I'm never stopping. What I'm stepping on them toes though. Or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little freestyle, a little freestyle. Just so y'all can hear that. Um, this is a great mic for for rapping for sure. Uh, a little freestyle. I burn them like a black and mild. What I was a wild child and my style was just impeccable when I get up on the microphone. These fools can't see me. What better pick a bone? <laughs> pick another bone because this ain't another clone this originality and i hit him with fatality oh yes it's a real individual i cut him up like a satanic ritual yeah yeah now this sounds really really good really dope um the vocal chain right here is the 5211 going into the warm audio and it sounds i mean it, it sounds more modern it it, it brings it up to that modern vibe now i like this sound um but if you want more of a dreamy buttery vintage style sound then i would recommend a 1073 style preamp but for me and for the stuff that i'm doing i, I do like this um sound okay now you're listening back to the heritage audio uh this microphone through the heritage audio and um it, it really matches that 1073 style um a lot because it gives that that i don't know what to call it but harmonic style um that vintage style so what i'm gonna do is actually i'm gonna turn on the compressor on this preamp might check one two one two and we're gonna turn on the eq might check one two one two give me a little bit of uh high in at uh 12 frequency because that's actually where they uh, dip down around, um, I think a lot, around 12K. They, they start to dip down, on, and I'll put the chart up again so y'all can see that. Um, you know, there we go. All right, so um, your preamp and your EQ and your compressor has a lot to do with how it's going to sound. So this is going directly into some hardware. Of course, you can use the other setup as well and use EQ in the heart in in the box and stuff like that. Or you could go directly into your interface. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that next. All right, so let's listen to this going directly into the Apollo using virtual preamps. All right, so this is it going directly into the Apollo. So if you just got the uh, the Apollo or if you got another um, audio interface, um, you can see how it sounds. Of course, you know, with the Apollo, it has the built-in uh, Unison preamp, which I'm using right now. I'm using the Neve 1073, and I'm using a LA-2A. And, uh, you know, those those plugins are what most people have and stuff, so that's why I kind of chose those. All right, so what I want to do right now is just show y'all, like, me singing uh, a hook to one of my songs, one of my tracks. So it actually has music in there so you can hear how it sounds with a little bit of auto tune on it, you know, in the um, context of an actual song. I'm straight up an auto tune singer. So this is how the TF 47 sounds um, going through the heritage audio. But I, now I have auto tune on here and I also have uh, an 1176 on here. This is without the 1176. Might check one, two. Yo, yo, yo. I actually like it a little better without the uh, 1176. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, it, it's actually compressing on the Brit strip. The Heritage Audio Brit strip is going through the, um, the compressor. So we're going to keep it like that. All right, so this is my song, I'll Be Gone. So check it out. Um, I'm going through the Heritage Audio and that, this is the EQ bypass and this is going directly into the compressor, the hardware compressor. Now let me turn off the hardware compressor. 
Mic check one, two. Now, this is just a preamp, but I do want to add some processing just to show you, you know, how, how you can, what you can do with this microphone. Yeah. And if you need it to go a little brighter, you can just, uh, you know, I got it like a, a touch brighter, not too much, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then let's turn on the um, preamp, I mean, the uh, compressor again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's grabbing it too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Even just a little less compression. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what's cool about this too is you can I can blend it. So yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm barely compressing it, you know, like one dB, and um I'm actually blending that uh that compression in with the heritage audio so i mean i've been talking about the heritage audio more than this microphone but this video is about this microphone but it it, it really matters what what you pair it with of course if you got a, a an apollo you can go directly into your apollo and it sounds great you know it sounds great i, I mean i don't know man it, it sounds really good I, i'm i'm surprised at how i forgot how good the apollo sound on its own but um uh, for this, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the plosives. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, pop filter here for the plosives there. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. All right, let's go. It's like a dream. That's what it seems. But I won't pinch myself because we going all the way. It's like a scene from a screen. But then the movie's over when we see the light of day. I'll be gone, go ahead and sleep in I'll be gone, I'll see you in the weekend Let's get Alright, so there you go, this is the TF47 And what I'm going to do right now is compare it to another mic in the Alchemy series And that is the TF51 all right, so this is the TF51 in the Alchemy series, and this is my favorite. I love the way it sounds. It's polished. It's, it's, it's got the the high end, the, the feathery high end, as they call it, silky, you know. So this is my choice um, out of those two microphones for my voice. So the cool thing about these microphones is that you can actually make one mic sound like the other mic. Um, and there's two other mics in the series. Um I believe the T39 and the T, I mean the TF39 and the TF29. Um, so this is the 51 and you could kind of make this 51 sound like a 47, just a little bit. So uh, what I would do is just EQ it and um, bring down the highs a little bit. So this is how that sounds. Let's see. Mic check one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. And then what I can do is um, let me bring down the, the, the the bottom a little bit microphone check one two one two microphone check one two one two one microphone check one two one two so microphone check one two one two one two one two microphone check one two one two Microphone check one two one two one two. Microphone check one two one two. All right, so this is how it sounds with the highs um, tamed down a little bit, and it doesn't sound a hundred percent like the forty seven. But you know, you could get a darker sound if you if that's what you're going for. If you wanted to go for a darker sound, you can do that with EQ. So that's a cool thing about these microphones. So you don't really need to get all the different microphones if you don't want you could just get your favorite and um you could eq it to make it sound how you want it to sound um this is my favorite like i said and let me go ahead and bypass that eq and this is the uh, natural sound mic check one two so how do you think this sounds mic check one two one two one two mic check one two i actually have one more mic that um <laughs> like apple says one more thing and this is mic is a preview of the next video so check this out all right so this microphone right here is the austrian audio oc818 um it's not a new microphone it's a it's just a good microphone and this is the microphone that i'll be testing out next so you can hear how this microphone sounds compared to the other mics um and this is with eq off 
microphone check this is with the eq on of course i would uh eq this a little differently here microphone check microphone check one two one two microphone check one two one two and this is a very neutral sound i really like this mic as well all right so there it is what you think what you think about the tf47 telefunken man telefunken they be funkin', man i really like i like funkin' with telefunken you know what i'm saying um of course, you know, uh, it's a legendary company and they have like really dope microphones. Of course, my dream mic is the 251, but I do like this microphone. This microphone is great for um, anything, really. Um, it has a, a slightly darker tone, but it makes it sound more warmer and more dreamier. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this this mic right here, man, is dope. So, uh if you want to buy this mic or any of the mics, any of the equipment that I have, link in the description. You know the drill. Um, Zounds, they got the payment plan. So if you use the link in the description, I get a piece. So if you appreciate this video, all the work that goes into all of these videos, then, you know, that's the way you can say thank you. You know what I'm saying? If you were going to buy it in the first anyway, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to buy it already, then go ahead and use my link. Um, I'm not trying to push gear on anybody, though, so only buy what you need. But, hey, if you want this, you need it, go ahead and use the link, and I appreciate you. And uh, maybe I can justify to my wife why I spend so much time in here and why I'm buying all this gear. Um, there's not enough links for that. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, put your comments in the comment sections. Tell me if you like this microphone. Is this the mic for you? All right? And I'll see you on the next one. One.